Hello everybody, my name is Cody aka Tempervoid and welcome back guys. Today we're going to be playing Fallout 4, this is our second part. We just got out of the vault. Um, some of you might be joining in on this part rather than the first part just because watching that first part, uh, basically everybody does the same thing, but this is kind of where the game goes on its own and you can kind of make your own decisions. So yeah, so the first thing I'm going to do guys is just grab junk, lots of junk, lots and lots of junk. and. Uh, I was, I was trying to think, what did I want to mention? Oh yeah, so, uh, some of you might have noticed this in the first episode if you've played the game before, but my game, the colors look very, I guess gray is a way to put it, um, the sun is very bright, um, and that's because I am running a, uh, I forget what the word is for it, it's, it's an FX thing, I, I don't know if you guys, I'm running Reshade, that's what it's called, um, and Reshade basically allows you to add different effects to the game, and like, this is what the default game looks like. And this is what it looks like with reshade. So as you can see, it's very bright and colorful without reshade. And, um, you know, that just didn't fit the dreary apocalyptic tone, especially when I have these mods that give the trees a little bit of growth and the grass a little bit greener. I just wanted to make sure that the game still kind of had that apocalyptic tone to it. And I think this color pack really gives it a more natural look. So yeah, and I think that's really it for that kind of thing. But, uh. Yeah, I think the only thing we can do now is make sure we get all the junk we can here because I want to make sure I have as much stuff for crafting and all that right off the bat. So, I don't think there's much more we can get from here. I think heading... Oh, oh, oh Jesus. Uh, okay, barrel, go. Heading down into Sanctuary now is really our only option left. Oh, well, it's kind of it's dark when you look at this. You think about that. It's like those were people that were out there. So, I think for this playthrough, um, I don't. I'm not sure. I'm just trying to think like how I want to go about it. Do I want to really stay with the Minutemen at first? Like, what do I want to do? How do I want to play this playthrough? And I, it's definitely going to be like as I play kind of thought process. But let's see. Obviously, we're going to go talk to Codsworth first because to initiate the main quest, that's what we want to do. And I am going to be doing the main quest, this isn't some, you know, rogue playthrough. It is Codsworth, it's me, it's me. I know what happened to the worth, or the world, not worth. Looking at my character's mouth, I feel like I made it way too small now. She's in a better place. I love how Codsworth isn't like apologetic or anything. He's not like, oh, I'm so sorry. He's just like, you need a distraction. Stop thinking about this. What's my checkers? Sean like charades? Isn't Sean like one year old? Not even. He's an infant. Sean's been kidnapped. It best not sugarcoat it. But I'm going to find him. I'm going to get my son back. It's worse than I thought. You're suffering from hunger-induced paranoia. Not eating properly for 200 years will do that, I'm afraid. It doesn't matter how long. That's something I would say. Doesn't matter. I'm fine. fine. A, a bit over 210, actually, sir. Or give and take a little. The Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old crew. I gotta stop eating chips. I'm so sorry. I just... I know you guys can hear it. I'm just trying to convince myself you can't. But I'm hungry. <laughs> Godsworth, please make me a snack. I want chips. Alright, so this is where my charisma is going to come in. Um, because I maxed out charisma, basically, anytime I see these yellow, red, or orange prompts where it's like, it's a risky question to ask, where usually someone might not get an answer, because my charisma is max, I'll always get the answer. You know it, Godsworth. Godsworth, you're acting... 
little bit weird. What's wrong? I. I Here we go. <laughs> oh, sir, it's been just horrible. Two centuries with no one to talk to, no one to serve. I spent the first ten years trying to keep the floors waxed, but nothing gets our nuclear fallout from vinyl wood. <laughs> And not don't get me started about the futility of dusting a collapsed house. And the car, the car, how do you polish rust? <laughs> I love that. How do you polish rust? Stay with me, pal. Focus. I'm afraid I don't know anything, sir. The bombs came and all of you left in such a hurry. I thought for certain you and your family were... Dead. I did find this hollow tape. I, I believe the missus was going to present it to you as a, a surprise. But then, well, everything happened. Thanks, Codsworth. <laughs> You're welcome. Now, enough feeling. <laughs> his, his instant change of tone is just beautiful. It's just, now, enough feeling sorry for myself. All right, Codsworth, lead the way. Let's do this. Let's do it. Let's go. Let's go search for uh, Sean and the missus. Even though I, I literally told you they were kidnapped and dead. But peekaboo. Peek what are we looking for? Oh, bugs, giant insects. Cotsworth, you just leveled that bug. Oh crap! He's leveling all the bugs. <laughs> he just massacred a family of giant insects, and he's like, "There's more where that came from." All right, Cosworth. What do we got? Hold on. Let me let me get this fly meat. It could be very tasty. Oh wait 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 wait! Isn't there a safe here? Yes, I want to open this. I have one bobby pin. AKA, I can't mess this up. Yes. Or not until I find more, at least. What did we find there? A pipe pistol. Nice. That's definitely gonna be helpful for um. Bouncing ammo, because pipe ammo is much more abundant in this game. Even though I do I do have a mod that increases, you know, the amount of ammo you find. Just because it was such a hassle to find ammo. And I even have a mod where you can craft ammo, even though I don't think we're going to need it. But, um, I did feel the need just to have it. Alright, so Codsworth is probably slaughtering families of insects over here on his own right now. We should probably keep up with him. That is the quest. Codsworth. Thank you. Oh, I skipped his voice line. I'm so bad. Sorry, that's just a habit I have in video games. But, uh... Let's tell me how the people shoot at him and stuff. Thanks, Codsworth. Thanks, Codsworth. Thanks for securing the home front. Alright, so... Now comes the essential task of moving... Moving. Just, just moving. <laughs> Getting where we need to be. So we're basically going to be coming back here soon once we talk to the Minutemen, but I'm still going to take all the junk around here just because, uh, why not? That, that disappeared. Okay. Um, alright, I'll save that actually for when we come back because there's a lot of junk that, you know, I can pick through when I'm cleaning the place up and setting up houses and stuff for our people, our settlement. So let's take a look. What do we have? I definitely am kind of disappointed that I didn't uh, up my endurance upon starting out, but uh, it's whatever. Having low endurance is just something we're going to have to deal with. Okay, um, yeah, we'll take that dog meat. Okay, is that... So I have this mod. It's basically a mod with ghouls, but it, it makes it so like zombies and ghouls can get infected, which I might have to go into the configuration settings for that to make sure everything's okay. But um, 
Yeah. So for the most oh. part, though, actually, hold on. Let me double check that setting now, because oh, okay. Well, I guess we're wearing the the drifter outfit now. I want to make sure that, like, yeah, here it is. Zombies aren't like spawning in, and zombie settings. Yeah. So perception, horde behavior. Infection settings. There it is. Uh, NPC resurrection disabled. I don't want NP N NPCs coming back at all. Uh, player infection. Um, I don't want to worry about the disease. I basically this mod helps increase spawn rates for zombies and stuff and the ghouls, which is all I really wanted. Um, spawn settings. Settlement attacks five percent per hour. Uh, area spawn limit? Uh, no limit. No limit. I want a lot of zombies, but I don't want, you know, zombies getting infected. Um, when enabled, extra spawn points will be used from existing markers in the game. Zombies will not spawn in cities, settlements, or interior cells. Zombies spawning at each spawn per day. Um... We'll do 5% chance. If, if that seems to be a problem, I'll turn it off. Spawn replacements. Um, yeah, I just want feral ghouls. Uh, infection settings. Wait, what was that? Uh, the one setting there. Spawn replacements. General settings. Replace already dead. Disabled. I don't want that. Okay, so I think those settings are all good. Um... True Storms configuration? I This should all be set up already. I'm sorry I'm checking all this out. True Storm effects? No, I want them on. There we go. Uh, Ghoul Horde chance? We'll leave that off since I have the other zombie mod going. I don't want to worry about that. Uh, backpacks of the Commonwealth settings? I think I uh, already set that up. Yeah, that should all be set up. Red Menace see-through scope settings? Let's check this one out too. We'll do the blur effect, I guess. I don't know. Hold on, dog meat. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm checking stuff out. <laughs> and I think in aid? No, it's not aid. Misc, maybe? Okay. I think all the mods are going to be set up just fine now. Uh, there shouldn't be anything we have to worry about. Hello, dog meat. How you doing? Hey, boy. What are you doing out here all by yourself? What are you doing, doggy? You lose your owner, buddy. What a dog. Okay, then. Let's dig together. All right, so I got a dog now and a cool outfit. I look awesome. All right, so. Nice radio playing and everything. Ah, uh, stim pack stuff. Junk. All stuff we can definitely use. Uh, weapons workbench. Do I? Oh, I already have a double barrel shotgun? Nice, nice. That's actually going to be super helpful. So, that's only going to increase my damage by one. I think I can afford it, though, so why not? What does Comfort Grip do? Extra accuracy. Let's do it. Alright, cool. So, that's going to help us. And, oh, oh, Jesus. Okay, iBot. I don't think I've ever seen an iBot this early in the game. That's actually really fun. So, up oh, Q, we're gonna put there. And then for number two, we'll put the shotgun so we can have that ready to go if we need it. Dog meat, that scared me. Don't do that. <laughs> okay, um, cigarette cartons, telephone, toaster. Okay. Oh, forgot, I forgot mole rats spawn here. I was like, what is that sound? I am terrified right now. Dog meat, help! Wait. I just heard a laser weapon. That or I'm, I'm losing my mind. I just heard a laser weapon. Did I not? Oh, you, it was the iBot. That's what it was. Okay. I'm 
I'm a lot less scared now. Yeah, give me all of that. Um, is there a Nuka Cola in there? Yes, there is. I'll take that. So before we go to Concord, is that, that's what it is, right? That's Concord. It's it's where it's where what's his face is. Yeah, Concord. Okay. Um, I'm gonna go down in here. Oh, dog mate, you scare me sometimes, dude. But I'm gonna go down into here because down in this place, uh, we can get a little bit of junk and I think a weapon or two. So, um, if you have good luck, you can find some good stuff. So I definitely want to come check out down here. Uh, dear lord, oh. I should mention, I have a sound that really bumps the reverb. Oh dear lord, dog beat, help! Alright, that sounds terrifying. I should definitely lower the reverb a bit. Actually, let's do that now before I forget. Uh, yeah, reverb, we'll half in it. Reverb is cool and all, but oh my lord, is it deafening. Alright, now now there's no reverb. See? It's touchy, it's touchy. You gotta have a good, a good value of reverb. I did not mean to do that at all. I didn't even think about where I was shooting. <laughs> okay. Um That's okay. I think we're all right. Um Yeah, we'll harvest that brain fungus. Not blow up like I almost just did there. Alright, there's a nuclear reactor there, and that's no good. Something like that. I don't exactly actually know what it is, but... Nuclear something. That piece of paper I picked up probably would tell us what it is. I should actually read it. Let me see. Junk mod... It's usually in MISC, right? Oh, did I just pick up a folder? Oh, it was this, right? Half of the Boston Regional Office, I would like to congratulate you and your team on the Trash Busters Award for the greatest year-to-year -year waste reduction by a single store. Respect for the environment. Oh, I get the irony. They've been hiding trash down here, and then they got an award for it. Okay, well, that's kind of messed up. Okay. Uh, okay. Um, nice. First try. Okay. Uh, Bunsen burner, duct tape, fragmentation, mine, gold plate. Yep, all good stuff. All, all great stuff. And. See, like, I turned that reverb setting down, right? And now it's like I don't even hear any reverb. Okay, that's better. Alright, cool. So, let's get to Concord now, and I think uh, that's going to be uh, the last thing we end up doing in this episode, basically talking to What's-His-Face and all their faces, Preston. Okay, um, and I want to grab this, yes. which is part of the Backpacks mod. I know this was here. So, take all those. But yeah, we got the mailman's bag, which... Or postman's bag. Which, you know, it doesn't look all that classy, but... Hell... It help, it's helpful. It gives you that extra carry capacity. An early game, that can be monumental. Okay, so we got our sugar bombs, caps... Everything we need to make the world go around. Okay. Heading up here, we got an ashtray. I think that was a bobby pin I just picked. No, don't sit. Oh, we've got things to do! Why am I sitting? Oh, ooh, ooh, safe. I forgot that's there. And a bobby pin box. Ah, really uh, I'm not I'm not quite there yet. Okay. But I will be soon. I promise. I promise, I promise, I promise. Okay. So, let's get into Concord now. I'm surprised how much 
town is still left after the nuke went off. A lot of town for sure. Yeah, dog me, I know you found an enemy. I found them too. Alright. Oh, jeez, now shooting at me. Okay. Rules of engagement. You engage, prepare to be engaged. Oh, buddy, you were a little close there. A little close for comfort. I'll take that and that. And I will put on that gas mask because why not? We gotta look like we. F oh, jeez, we gotta look like we fit the role, right? Look at that. We're already. We're already a true survivor. Oh, why am I looking to the right like that? You know, it probably has to do with the, uh, the recoil mod I added. Okay, uh, shotgun. Ow. Jesus, don't shoot me. Nice. Good job, dog meat. Okay, um, Molotov I'll take. I don't think I need anything else from them. Uh, shotgun shells, super, super useful. Pipe rounds, useful. Here. Nice. Good job, dog meat. Thanks for holding that man down. Okay, uh, what? What What are you barking at? Oh, oh, ghouls. Or zombies, I should say. Dog meat! No, you're down! Jeez. Alright. Oh, you're not dead. You're not dead. Stay dead. Is it, is it actually dead now? I can't loot it, so I can't tell. He's fine, see? Can, can you not Can you not loot ghouls? Is that not a feature? I always thought it was. Okay. Um, let's go inside. Did he already talk to me? He might have already said something to me. We'll grab the thing now, though. Do I want the hat? No, I don't want it. Uh, weapons. Honestly, dude, I'm, I'm not going to use that. He might have called out to me already. Usually he says, like, hey, you grab that laser musket. We need some help. And you're like, uh, I'm sorry, buddy. Can't, can't help. No. <laughs> yep, it's a joke. The gunshot sounds so good inside that reverb mod. It's it's definitely a fun... Dear lord. Okay. Alright, nice. They're down. Okay, uh, there it is. Want to get that, and then I'm gonna stop down here now. <sighs> Jesus, I shouldn't have broke that. Cool, cool. Okay, so I wanted to grab this ahead of time. So I'm down here, but because we need to give that to them in a minute. Um, so we got that. Uh, I don't think there's anything else down here that we need now. Ooh. Oh no, that door just leads up there. That's right. Yep, okay. Uh, so now we can head up. Okay. No, no, not the left arm. Not the left arm. Body. <laughs> I'm gonna pay for that? I don't know, buddy. I think it's you. Alright. Dog meat. Um, thank you for standing on him. That that was very helpful. This mural is definitely really cool. And they got the space soldiers <laughs> and the power armor. Cool game. Definitely cool. It, it's the aesthetic choice of this game is always gonna be something that amazes me, and one of the reasons I really love it, it's just it's so unique, like this kind of post-apocalyptic future, but one where everything is themed from the 50s. Like, how many games like that have you seen? Yeah, 
yeah, you are hearing shit. It's it's not a person at all. You know, you, you didn't just hear gunshots and your your people screaming. That's that's not what happened. What are you talking about, buddy? Okay. Um. Hold on. Can I? What weapons do I? Oh, I have a lot of weapons. When did I get all these? Okay, we'll do. I I changed that. It shouldn't be the. There we go. It's me. Ah, I'm on fire. That hurts. Why did you do that, buddy? Hey. Man, I don't know who you are, but just Hamid's impeccable. Thank you. Thank you. Preston Garvin, Commonwealth Minutemen. Ah, uh, that ain't it. Glad to help. Well, if that's true. <laughs> My beard goes through the gas mask. See, we're in a bit of a mess here. <laughs> we're in a bit of a mess here. God damn it! Please go on. A month ago, there were twenty of us. Yesterday, there were eight. Now we're five. First, it was the bulls in Lexington, and now this mess. I don't know why their voices aren't syncing up with their mouths. That's not a video issue. That's that's a game issue. So I'm sorry about that. Um, just. I guess don't pay too much attention to it, hopefully. It might be because my frame rate is over 60, but honestly, it's the only thing that has ever... Oh, Jesus! Oh! Oh! Not gonna lie. That that scared the life out of me. I have my headphones turned up really loud. Hey there. Please, you need to listen to me. I'm listening! But yeah, just ignore the voice thing. Okay, yeah, please, go on. Ago. Yeah, we know. Sorry. Sounds rough. Thanks. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Good to meet someone who really cares. Anyway, we figured Concord would be a safe place to settle. Oh, Those man. raiders proved us wrong. But well, we do have one idea. What's that? Let's hear it. Sturgis. Tell him. There's a crash vertebrate up on the roof. Woo! Old school. Pre-war, might have seen. Well, I'm familiar with that technology. We're talking a full suit of Cherry T45 power armor. Woo! Cherry issue. I like, I like it. it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I thought you might. Protection with an added bonus. Get the suit. You can rip the minigun right off the vertebrae. Uh huh. Minigun. Now we're talking. I know, right? Only there's one hitch. The suit's out of juice. Probably been dry for a hundred years. can be powered up again. But we're a bit stuck. What you'll need is an old pre-war FC. A standardized fusion core. Your high-grade, long-term nuclear battery used by the military and some companies way back when. But we can't we get to the to damn find. thing. It's down in the basement. Like behind a security Look, gate. I fix stuff. I tinker. Bypassing security ain't exactly my forte. You could give it a shot. Yeah, um, actually, actually I, already I already grabbed, grabbed it. Grabbed the fusion core. We're set. Well, all right. Maybe our luck's finally turning around. Once you jack the core into the power armor and grab that minigun, those raiders will know they picked the wrong fight. Good luck. Thank you. Yeah, okay. Okay. Um, you see, I don't like yes. being rude to Mama Murphy, but I also don't want to talk to her. So I think I'm just not going to talk to her. Even though I know she's the one who gives you the exposition to go to, where is it? Um, Diamond City, but I'm just going to avoid talking to her for as much as I can. Because uh, I know like people are saying like she's not actually crazy, but I'm kind of convinced she is. <laughs> if that makes any sense. I'm convinced she's crazy. I'm convinced she's cuckoo. And the drugs. Why are there so many ghouls? Oh, I know why. I know why. 
I actually know exactly why and let me fix that. It's probably because of that one setting I set and I said if it causes us any problems, I'll turn it off. Mm. This one, extra spawns disabled. We do not need extra spawns at all. And I think that's good to go. No loot on zombies? Yeah, we'll do no loot on zombies. I feel like that's going to be kind of cheap if there's, you know, zombies there. XP. I, s I think they should give us some XP. After all, we are using ammo on them. But I agree, 25% is not fair. Um, names? I want them to be called Feral Ghouls, not Zombies. Feral Ghoul is the the Fallout name, so... Oh, we have two level ups. I should probably use this. So let's see. Um, so... I'm trying to think which ability from Charisma we could do, if anything. Hmm... There's no chance I could get to alcohol. Mm. Intimidation would be kind of fun to use. I think actually I'm gonna I'm gonna do strength once because I quickly want to get strength up to strong back because strong back actually lets you customize the backpacks. I know that for sure. And then we'll do this here, gunslinger, so we can use the pistol more effectively, saying that's gonna be our primary weapon for a lot of the beginning of this game here. And then eventually we'll get commando here, so automatic weapons are gonna be a lot more powerful. But uh, how close are we to leveling up? I didn't check that stats. Uh, okay, so we're about fourth, fifth of the way there. Um, let's get in the power armor, shred it up, and get to business. Alright. Alright, let's do this. Up here. Boss, we got somebody up here. Yeah, it's me. Part of the game is always so cool. It's so much more interesting playing with a lot of recoil. I want to get all the loot off of Grizzle here. Where is it? Here he is. Corpega storage key. I'll take his pistol. I think we're good there. Alright, here comes the death claw. Whoa, we missed. Reload the minigun, no! There we go. Give me all your stuff. Alright, is that everybody? Hopefully so, because there's a lot of things blowing up and I don't want to be here now. Alright, so I think we got everything there now. Shotgun shells. A head. Alright, so I think that's everything we need. Oh, I forgot you can just destroy sandbags. All right, cool. So we messed it up. We messed them up. All right. So actually, I think I'm going to end this episode here, guys. All right. Yeah, you better be. Now, 
All right, is he done talking to me? All right, so I'm just going to leave it here, guys. Uh, I'm going to see you guys in the next episode. I'm going to stop it here because I know I said I didn't want to go over 30 minutes in my first episode and the second episode I've already broken my rule um, again, technically. So uh, I'm going to try and end it here, but I, I just didn't want to stop like mid-quest or anything, even though that's exactly what we're doing right here. But uh, yeah, so uh, I'll see you guys in the next part. Thank you for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you guys haven't and you're new. Um, hit the bell icon if you haven't. That way you guys can see when I upload these next parts. And uh, hit the like button if you liked it. All right, guys, thanks. I'll see you in the next one.